Hey guys, Kevin here with High Sight. We're gonna go over how to rig up your line and get your system running. At your first anchor point, you'll wrap the sling around a nice sturdy pillar, then attach the carabiner to both loops, and add your line. Now you're just gonna walk out the line. You're gonna make your way over to the second anchor point, attach the sling, the carabiner, and the tie-off device. Make your way down the line, five to 10 feet away from your sling, and you're gonna tie a clove hitch. You make one loop and a second loop, placing the second loop over the top of the first loop. Then you put your carabiner through both the loops, And this is what it should look like when it's done correctly. Now we'll build up the tensioner, put the line through the carabiner, around the pulley, do the same over here, through the carabiner, and around the pulley. And then when you come back, make sure that you're putting it so the line is traveling in the same direction when you pull on it, so it's not fighting against itself and the same over here. Then you're gonna pull out all your tension and attach it to the tie-off device. You'll just follow the directions on the tie-off device, do it twice for good measure, throw another knot in here, and you're good to go. Your line is all set up, and now you're ready to operate the high sight. To put the high sight on the line, put on the outside wheel, click in the line lock, put it on the last wheel. Then you're gonna attach the gimbal. You can use whatever quick release you like or have here. Last comes the battery. To operate the high sight, you're gonna turn on your radio and initialize it by moving the throttle stick all the way up, then all the way down. The high sight's gonna start beeping, signifying that the endpoints have not yet been set. To set the endpoints, drive the trolley away from you Give yourself plenty of distance and come to a stop. Then you're gonna change direction by flipping the switch. You'll hear a triple beep and that's telling you that the endpoint has been set. Now you'll throttle back to come back to you. Throttle speed is limited during endpoint setting. And change direction to set your second endpoint. You'll now no longer hear the trolley beep as both endpoints are set and it will automatically come to a stop at your endpoint. To demonstrate, I'm going to go full throttle and it stops all by itself. Mm -hmm.